the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekend. Cats can't see me. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, shout to my best friends, Manny and Danny, Bronx guys. I had to show them. I had to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a street dude. Right? You know what I'm saying? But when the street dudes got, I got to play the card out, right? Uh, Pistol Pete, the legend is in the building. You already know what's up. And be easy with having it. Listen. I, I've heard stories upon stories upon stories. To have you sitting here in front of me, it feels surreal. I mean, it feels real. I'm, I'm shot just like you. <laughs> you know what I mean, times has changed. You know what I'm saying? Literally. Facts. So, what brings you to the sit down this afternoon? What are we talking about? Talk about dog in the yard. You know what I'm saying? We going back to Rikers Island. You know what I'm saying? I'm going back to Rikers Island after 30 years. Going back to Rikers Island, walking right up in there, talking to the to the brothers in there. You know what I mean? Kicking it to them and all that, getting them focused. You know, a lot of brothers in there, they lost. And I, you know, uh, a lot of us was lost back in the days. You know what I'm saying? I, I, could, I, could, I feel them. I, see, I go there and I can relate. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I was there at one time and I was lost as a motherfucker. So, um, you can't curse, huh? No, you just can't. You, the fuck yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> fuck you, me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to tell I'm, Pistol yeah, P he yeah, can't yeah. curse. Oh, I'm just saying, though, you know, we're going to keep it cute. You know? <laughs> so... But um, I've been going back to the island, kicking it to the brothers, you know. Uh, uh, we, me and shout out to my partner, uh, Bartender Giant, you know what I'm saying? He was here last week! Yeah, this shit can't happen without Bartender Giant. You know Yo, he's a dope top. soul, he's, he's a great a, he's person. He's an amazing brother, yeah. you know what I'm saying? God bless his soul, you know what I'm saying? He's my partner, you know what I mean? He believe in me. I mean, he and, and he, see, he see the difference we've been going in, and he sees how the brothers is like, oh shit, Pistol Pete, dog in the yard. Yo, you know, all the young brothers, they salute. You know, uh, we trying to come up with some programs where brothers can stop cutting each other and all that in prison. But rather than, you know, if they got a if they got a misunderstanding with each other or anything altercation, or get it, get it, get a little popping off. You know, back in the days, get a little five minutes or whatever instead of cutting each other. So I don't want no fights. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, listen, no fights, no cuts. We are gonna make it happen. We are gonna bring movies in here. We gonna watch. We gonna watch. We gonna get some pizza. We gonna chill. We gonna do. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try to do my best. Out, you know. Okay, so. I had this conversation with my co-host, Empty Thoughts, uh, Taylor, Fun Size T. She feels like jail is just like a playground. Like, they have cell phones now. They have pizza. They be eating. I'm like, they still can't leave, though. Yeah, How they can't did leave. It's hot as fucking there. Everybody and they got their shirt off. It's fucking hell fucking up. Smusty smelling. You know what I'm I mean, the, 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 you know, having PlayStation and their own tablets and all that, that's a throw off. That's what I'm there for, to make sure that they can't get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to, because you get caught up playing that. You know, I went in there and I'm like, yo, oh, so how long you been here? 60 months. I'm here with two bodies and shit. I'm like, okay, uh, what's your lawyer's name? Um, I don't know, man. I'm like, what you mean you don't know your lawyer's name? You've been here 60 months. In effect, you're saying all these liberties that they're giving them in jail is just the okie doke to keep you not doing what you're supposed to be doing, putting your head in the books, listening to your lawyer. Say, I'm not going to say, well... They, they, what they, they what they think they doing is by giving them this is they gonna be framed from cutting each other, from beating each other up because if they're giving them shit, they, they they're giving them access. Before back in the days, you know, I used to, it used to be one phone, and and you fuck if Pistol P take the phone ringer, you know, the back in the days, mm -hmm. the phone, if Pistol take the bottom of the phone and take it to court with him and all that, like, nobody get on the fucking phone. So I get back to court, I will come back from court. And that's that shit you would do. Yeah. Damn son, that's some real nigga shit. And nobody uses this fucking phone so I so get back. So what I'm saying to you is that times has changed on the island. You know what I'm saying? Where they giving brothers shit, which, I, which is great, but we can't lose focus. You still got to know who's your lawyer. Mm -hmm. You're fighting for your life. You know what I'm saying? You can't get lost. And I know, every, now and, you know everybody repping different shit, different colors, different, you know, uh, uh, religions and shit like that. You know, with me, when I go in there, I go in there with, with my, what I point out to the brothers is we could all rep whatever you want to rep. As long as we respect each other, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. We ain't gotta like each other. We ain't gotta talk to each other. But as long as you respect me and respect my space, and we good, you know what I'm saying. And you could do that. You know what I'm saying. In jail, you could do that. Yo, my man, with overdue respect, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Keep that thing over there. You know what I mean. And I'm over this side. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying. As long as they keep it like that, then it's all good. Talk to me about Dog in the Yard. Dog in the Yard is a prison reform um, podcast. It's strictly on YouTube. Um, I've uh, been doing it for past what four years? Shit, I thought it was two years. Four <laughs> years, shit. Um, I have uh from your favorite celebrities on there: Fat Joe, Khaled, even those that they never went to jail, went to jail for a week, a month, thirty years, forty years. Uh, it's about brothers. Brothers don't have a, a a voice, especially when you go to prison. 
Prisoners who don't have a voice. So this this plat my dog in the yard is a platform where it gives brothers that voice. Mm. You know what I mean? You come home, you did 34 years, and 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 now you home, you working, you getting your shit together, you got a job, you had a baby now, you 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 doing what you're supposed to do, and you and you out here doing what you you know what I mean, and you out here free, rep, representing freedom, then you good. You know what I'm saying? That that's what we want. You know what I'm saying? Because it shows that it it shows that yes, the podcast has to do with more than that. Cause it, we we get into into depths like you know the shit that caused them to to, to react. Well, you know how you went to jail, mm-hmm. uh, how many siblings, you know, um, um, where 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 you are, uh, um, how you call it, you know, where you get this anger from? Where you know you was a good kid. So it's know? like therapy. You, yeah. So we and we sit there and the brothers feel comfortable talking to me because who else gonna tell you anything better than, than, than some jail shit than Braggers Island King? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying for real. No, you're right. Like I've I'm, I'm, I'm been been in the state. Feds, I know the system. I know, I know, I know what time it is. I've been through that. I did three years and eight months in a hole. I was the first prayer to get on Rikers Island. I mean, Damn. I mean, like, so I, I, I bring this shit. So, dog in the yard is about brothers be able. They have a platform. They get, they could. A, a lot of brothers cried on my show. I it's, mean, there's a lot of like, hurt. Like brothers be like, yo, man, like you know, I went through this. I was scared. Like I was. Di-. That's why. Shout out to Mano. One of my best. Yeah, Mano. You know I love me some Mano. You know I, I fuck with Mano. Shout out to Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Mano was. You know, I love his interview because he, 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 he. You know, he just put the walls down. We sat down. We vibed. He kicked it. You know, and a lot of us, a lot of people think that we animals, that we don't have no feelings, that we just, you know, pistol them. We don't. We just. We just some tough guys, and but we got feelings too. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? We human. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I shout out to Mano because he opened up on, on, on Dog in the Yard, and, and it was a dope interview, and. I, and I appreciated that. But with that being said, that's what it's about. That's what Dog of Y'all is about. Is that, it's that platform where you be able to, to express and be able to let the feelings go and let it be known. Like, listen, man, I went through this, through this, through this, but this is what I'm doing now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I got my shit together. So you out here helping the people. Facts. That's amazing. I need I, I love speaking to people that know or feel there's a greater purpose than them. And, and those people we got to pour into. So if there's anything... You could that I can help you with. Uh, my door is open for you. Chacha, you know, Chacha, I will, will I'll f- whatever I need to do to help, well, let got, me know. Well, I got KAR. Uh, uh, KAR is a group uh, that I that I signed a bunch of brothers from the street. I could have went the route that a lot of brothers go to. They, they, you know, I know all your favorite rappers as well, and I go ask favors and be like, yo, let me put this rapper with this guy, and let me put this guy and come up with a come up with an L album, right? Mm-hmm. Like my brother DJ Khaled. Shout out to DJ Khaled. We the best. You already know. T.S. But what I'm saying to you is I I love the struggle. I love the I love the coach. I love the hood. I I, I love I, I'll go back to the hood and and pick up the guy that's the the most whatever he 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 could be the most crazy dangerous guy in in, in the whole hood. But he's a dope artist, man. I go get him. I go talk to him. Yo, what's up? This is what we doing. Why do you feel an obligation to do that? No, I'm not obligated. I just love it. I just love to, I love my, it's a passion. I mm. love, I got a brother here from Miami, I signed him. I got him, boom, I, I found him, through the up, boom, I like, I like his style, put him on shit with Nems, put him on joints. I got friends, we go, don't worry about it, we riding on the right joint, I got a lot of friends. My friends are very rich, very connected, right? <laughs> yeah, right. So, so we know, we, and, and and we just do our thing, man, and you know, I got KARs, it's, it's flaws, trap, and, and fame. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my partner, Miami. How big are we taking this label? We take it. We, we we going all the way top, man. We trying to fuck with anybody that fucks with us, man, in the most humble, humblest way and respectfully. Right. You know what I'm saying? We just trying to get in the game. You know, it, it it has taken a long time for us. We had did it before. I had a I had a situation with Koch before. I had Killer Rats before. A, a, a group before these guys. A bunch of brothers that I signed from Brooklyn all over, and we came out with an album. I had everybody on the album from Jada Kids, Cali, Fat Joe. Sean Kingston, I mean, the album was crazy, but the energy wasn't there. Meaning mm. my energy was still in the street and a lot of people were scared of, to talk to me. Yes, yes, A lot of yes. people was afraid of, to, to, to take me in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know how this industry is. The music industry is, it looks like it's big, but it's small. Very you know small. What I'm saying? So you could do whatever action you take today, that shit could affect whatever you're trying to do later Tomorrow, on. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I learned that the hard way. You know what I mean? Like, I asked for about shit, please forgive me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like, I, I think I, 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 enough was enough. You know what I mean? For those that have felt victim in the past with my bullshit. 
that has that has to do with the industry. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying though? Because there's a whole bunch of people that I probably you know did wrong. I smacked them, beat them up. You didn't play the record on time. You da da da. I got a pistol piece story. There you go. <laughs> Okay, but this is when I was dumb and stupid and whatever. So Fat Joe was performing at BB King's, right? And um, I was drinking. And um, I was working for the station. They were like, yo, go on stage and get footage of Fat Joe. They gave me the little camera phone. And my drunk ass literally was this close to Fat Joe. And self said, Pistol Pete was about to mollywop you. He goes, if you didn't take a step back, Pistol Pete was asking everybody, who the fuck is this nigga? Who the fuck is this nigga? And I turned around and Pistol Pete was talking to himself. He said, I said, and I ran off the stage. That was my Pistol Pete story. That was a whole hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new me. It's a new me. <laughs> a new chapter, guys. Uh, yes, this you was the, over 10 years Shout ago. Shout out to self, man. Over 10 By years the way, ago. Self, self act like he don't he forgot. Self <laughs> know. We go way back from college and all that. Yep. We supported self, self kill all raps was the first. Oh, there you go. Everything. Self, you know you can't. Oh, <laughs> Shout out to the Grinning God DJ Self. self. Um, I was waiting to the end to tell my Pistol Pete story because I've never felt so bad in my life. They were oh, like, yo, son, man. he was going to kill now me. Now I want you next to me. It's <laughs> no, all good. No, that's why you're here. That's absolutely. absolutely. That's, I appreciate you guys. No, nah, man. man, it's all love. If, is there anything else you want to talk to the people before I let you go? Well, you, you, know, you want your guys to spit? You want to spit? Yeah, let's go. You guys yeah. got some bars? Yo, yeah, they got some bars. Come yeah. on. Let's do it. Yo, every Monday, Let's dog in the yard. Let's hear me? Every Monday, dog in the yard. Every Monday, that's dog a podcast. The yard. Yeah, podcast. what time? On YouTube, four o'clock. New episode. Gotcha. Uh, this Monday we got Nems, Gorilla Nems on there. Bing bong. You already know, Bing bong in the building. Shout out to <laughs> the whole, the whole Coney Island. You already know. Appreciate you. Uh, shout out my nigga M I T S. You already know we Surf the best. Up. Everybody, we out here, man. We outside for real. All right, so this shout is out K- my brother Steve Bell. This is K R K A R. K-A-R. Let me hear some bars. Come on. Step up Let's to the mic. Let's hear something. Let's go. Yo, I'm allowed too. Get up. Sure, let's get it. Can we hear the music out loud? No, no, no. It'll be acapella. Yeah, acapella. Let's get it. Beats. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. Regret seven, I flex better. Protect weather. Got my ex thinking she should've gave me the neck better. Uh, I chest checkers, they jumping over the chip still. Little bit of patience that made a nigga a big deal. Uh, I drip drill, black hoodie on with my gang gang. True blood, nigga. I push it, they let the fangs hang. Bam. Ball man, nigga. Triple double the ball game. Threw a stack of money at one bitch, they all came. Huh. Dreaming of this moment, counted me on the tour change. Couple gunshots had feds kicking my door frame. Missed a few summers, started saying my full came. By the end of winter, I promise they'll say it or change, poor pain, celebrate for my dogs, they told me to never cry, right, just celebrate them at ball, doing this for them niggas that never gave me a call, them big dog niggas that never gave me a paw, let's Woo! get it, let's get it, okay, what's your name, gangsta? Y'all what? know you as Trap. Trap Star Trizzy, man. Follow me on the grand, man. Trap out 5'9". Everywhere else, Trap Star Trizzy. Yo. Y'all boy, hey, this certified. This Dade County, Miami, Alapata. We in this, man. This is certified thing. It's that 305. F-A-Y-N. Certified. They sold me dreams while I was sleeping. It slept on me while I was dreaming. I guess now we even. Because look what I'm achieving with no budget. Got rappers looking disgusted because I'm buzzing and they fall like the season. They looking at me salty because they heard that I was seasoned. I'm better than your list of freshmen and the veterans you believed in. Y'all could get it any given Sunday, Willie Beeman. Mm. Word of Hover, this the takeover meets ether. And I ain't mad at haters. Them same type of niggas probably ain't believe in Jesus either. Fuck mm. being facetious. I got it hands down like I'm lacing up my sneakers. Fully devoted. My main focus to remain focused. I'm the missing link like the chain broken. No bragging or boasting, but every verse is a body bag. Throwing rappers in the ocean. Every song is a toe tag. A newcomer that's gonna do summers. You can't stop my rain. I hide from my thunder. Motherfucker, I was made for this. K.O. forever Certified Alapad, I told y'all niggas, this is what we do. Let's get it. We here, Trap Star Trizzy, man. You already y'all. know. Appreciate y'all, man. I'm easy, man. Right. Appreciate the love, appreciate man. Y'all. You already know it's your boy. I, I'm, I'm in awe. Cha-cha, all. appreciate you humbly. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? OP, you already know. Young, because you already know we in the building. That's Pistol PK on boys. Certified. Let's get it. Get it's the sit down and we out here, baby. Oh. <laughs> Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekend's. Cats can't see me.